In this video, I'm going to talk about how to process test result. So what this means is after a candidate must have submitted result, how do you assess the result from the admin? And, uh, and what can you do with the result? How do you process it and you know how do you get it in various formats? So let's take a look at how to do that. So let's take a look at the test center admin application. Let's go to the test menu. Under the test, we'll select the result sub menu. On this result page, you'll be able to see all the results of all the candidates that must have submitted their test. So I'm going to talk about how to view result, process results, and do other things as regards results. So let's take this example. Let's say I want to view the detailed results of this particular test. I'll click on detailed results and then it will display the breakdown of the candidate's performance. So I can see the score, the time spent, and I can see a breakdown of how the candidate performed. So I can see the username and all of that. And um, I can also see the result based on topic. That's if the content has topics, right? So I can get that information and I can print the result. I can print this slip in uh, as PDF or print it out in a, in a physical, uh, via a physical paper. So what else can we do? We can also view corrections. So you can check the correction of this candidate. So correction meaning you can see the question as well as the answer. So I can say, okay, for this particular question, the answer, the correct answer is A, and the selected option is A, which means the, the candidate got this right. Then the same thing applies to this. I can see what the actual is, and I can see what the selected is. So another thing is I can view, I can send SMS. I can send results as SMS. But then that means the candidate must have phone number. If there is no phone number for that, if that candidate doesn't have a phone number, you can't send SMS. I can also send the result via email if the candidate has email address. If there's, a, if there's an email address associated with that candidate. So this is these are the things you can do basically. Then you can filter the results based on reg number so i can say i want to see results of just games right you can just do that and it's going to rearrange everything it's going to show me just james results then another thing i can do is i can sort the results by date that is by the most recent or i can sort it by score so if i want the highest to be at the very front followed by the lowest for james i can sort it this way and I can also sort by name so if, if you want to sort all the results by name or by batch number or by class you can do all of that then you can send bulk SMS or bulk email so what that means is if I want to send these three results as email instead of sending one after the other I can do that with this option then I can export this result to Excel to CSV or to table so if you export to Excel, this is how it's going to look like. So you have reg number, name, class name, batch number, and so on and so forth. So this is what you're going to get if you if you export it as Excel. But if you export via table, you can remove certain columns. So let's say you don't want to see obtainable mark, you don't want to see your time, you don't want to see. So you can uncheck the columns that you don't care about. And you're going to get a more compact table. Then you can print this more compact uh, table. So these are some of the operations you can carry on. You can carry out on results. So let's say I want to rescale all the scores to be let's say over 100. I want each subject to be over 100. You can easily achieve that by going to settings under test, and then changing this apply obtainable mark to each subject if you choose each subject and you set the obtainable mark then let's save you will see that by the time you go back to result you will see that each subject will have been transformed into over 100 so that means english is now over 100 mathematics is over 100 commands and so on 
So the same thing now goes to this. And if you check the detailed result, everything would have been rescaled to over 100. So everything, both the breakdown of the score and everything will be rescaled to over 100. So this is how you can reformat the scaling of your score to suit anything that you want. Then another option you have is you can change this over 100 to be applied to overall test. So if you save this and you go back to result, you will see that all the tests will be scaled down to over 100. The total mark will be over 100, not just each subject. So total mark is over 100, over 100, and over 100. So this is how you, this has some of the operations you can carry out on your results.